To install the add-on, go to Edit, Preference and navigate to the zip file and install. The add-on requires Blender version 3.1 or above as well as Blender default tissue add-on enabled. There are four main categories and a custom one. Except the sci-fi category, the rest behave the same way to add surface details. The default path is inside the add-on folder, which is in your system drive. The custom folder is empty, you can add your own. You can define your own path elsewhere, for example, I use test folder in my D drive. Set the path in add-on preference and refresh preview. The new additions will appear. To reduce add-on tab cluster, you can rename the tab name to shorter one, or same name as other add-on name to combine together. Restart Blender to take effect. There are a couple of ways to add details to target surface. In object mode, select a surface element and shift select a target object, press add element, it will populate every face with the element object. The way it aligns is based on its bounding box. X and Y coordinate will stretch to face corners and Z direction can be adjusted manually. Another way to add details is in edit mode, select some face and within relevant category, choose one and press add element. If details is added from edit mode, there are two children objects. First one is shape, the other one is source detail. The source detail object defines individual elements look, generally it is tileable. After you make a change, select the main object and refresh changes, it will update accordingly. The shape object defines how the element distribute on the surface. Subdivide detail will add more to it. While unsubdivide detail will do the opposite. When at lower resolution, unsubdivide may encounter less desired result. Since the shape object controls the distribution, you can see the topology is not ideal. Manual tweak is required. When you select a square shape, you can use make single face to reduce it to one quad face. When the target surface is low resolution, you can add subdivision modifier to make it smooth. Select the main detail object and shift select the target surface. Use shrink wrap to target button to wrap it to the surface, then use the sub D slider to control the smoothness. Under the hood, it adds subdivision and shrink wrap modifiers to the shape object and the slider controls the sub D levels. Remove modifiers will delete the modifiers on the shape object. Fill mode, component etc. is the same as default tissue add-on. Triangle Quad and fan fill mode is self-explanatory, patch is used in the sci-fi category, more on that later. By default, the component mode is object, which use a single object to fill the surface. If you have multiple objects inside a collection, you can use a collection to fill the surface, seed value control randomness. In material mode, it will look for objects whose name match material name. Default rotation usually align all element to one direction, change shift value to rotate them. Random rotation will randomize each element direction, change seed value to randomize them. Sometimes, the default rotate may not align correctly, use active UV to align them correctly.
Blended normal uses vertex normal to fuse them together, while individual face normal will rely on each polygon face normal. Scale controls the extrude value, while surface offset controls how far it goes inside the surface. Merge will make the tileable element merge its borders with a defined threshold. Toggle children visibility will show or hide the shape object and source detail object. When done with editing, you can confirm the details and it will delete any proxy objects. Now, let's take a look at the sci-fi category. It behaves differently from others. In edit mode, select some face and make sure they are square shape, otherwise a warning pops up. If selection is a square shape, press add element, the chosen detail will append to the target surface. Generally speaking, there should be only four points each with two adjacent edges to form a square shape. This selection does not work. Another way is to add from current scene. First select the element object, then shift select the target surface. Go to edit mode, select square shape faces and press add element. Use the sub D slider to control how well the element can form to the surface. The source detail object are made from standard Boolean operations. It is a lot easier to make it and then apply to a curved surface. Change projection button changes the wrap method of the shrink wrap modifier on shape object. Because it is only a single quad face, it may lack of shape manipulation. Use second shape tweak button to manipulate the shape. It adds another mesh that is original shape object surface binded with respect to its subdivision level. Now you can use any tool to move its shape, such as proportional editing. Make sure to smooth them out, otherwise some stretching may occur. Another way to control the curvature is use shape key. It create a blend between curved shape and its flat shape. Confirm detail will remove any proxy objects and the shape key. Here is another example. It begins as a simple shape and use hard surface Boolean modeling. It becomes complex. Finally, apply to a curved surface. It offers different way compared to classic mesh modeling and sculpt slash retopology method. Plus it is way faster. Here are a few tips. Make sure they have enough mesh density. Take this Boolean object for example, because it does not have enough mesh density, it cannot conform to the surface well. Add some loop cuts accordingly. Turn on the wireframe, you can see, the cutter object also needs some loop cuts to get enough mesh density. Now after fresh changes, because of the increased density, it conforms better. Smooth shading the element for better result. If you want to reuse your hard surface object, a few things need to be prepared. 1. Name you object different from other object in the sci-fi category. I use test cube in this case. 2. Save the blend file and name it same as the object name. 3. Make a screenshot or render a picture, save it same as object name and in JPG format. Here you can see the test cube blend file and JPG picture are saved inside the sci-fi folder. Refresh the preview and it is ready to reuse. Since the Boolean workflow is non-destructive, you can modify on the fly. Sometimes, the cutter objects are put inside a collection. When added as detail, the cutter objects are not hidden. When dozens of them imported, Blender scene may become chaotic. I would suggest parent them to the base object. Sometime, it seems like the Boolean model looks good, 
but when you add a triangulate modifier you may see some bad shading. Simply slide the edge around would fix it. It is because when two edges are too close together, the bevel modifier would have a hard time solving it. That is it for now. Happy blending!